welcome back to a bookish bath time with Alexa. So in this episode, we're going to be doing a Shadow Hunter Chronicles bath cocktail. I am so excited to do this because the Shadow Hunter Chronicles are some of my favorite books of all time. Cassie Clare is probably one of my favorite authors. She makes me go through so many emotions when I read her books. I, I love her. She's amazing, an amazing writer. I love her stories. I love her like characters and I love her love stories. They make us feel like all types of like weird feelings that we shouldn't be feeling. But yeah, whatever. So today I'm going to be doing that. And basically the shadow hunters are uh, Nephilim. So they are part human, part angel. So basically Raziel the angel gave them um, a cup so that when they drink out of it, they become a shadow hunter. Which a job of a shadow hunter is to kill demons and make the earth safer for the humans. But they're invisible to the human eye so I wanted to do my bath like good evil you know like a battle um, between darkness and light demons are not nice so black and then angels like when I feel up like, when I think of angels it's like golden light you know so I want my bath to look like that so let's get into the recipe so mine is a little bit disheveled but I'm going to be using this bath bomb which is black magic or dark arts I don't know because it changed name but this is the new jelly bath bombs this is probably one of my favorite scents of Lush it's really like spicy and sultry and beautiful but it doesn't smell like cinnamon it's really nice so this one is completely black with some glitters in the bath and in the middle there is like burgundy and it's beautiful but it makes the bath entirely black so really excited to use this one I feel like you could only use this and it would be a beautiful bath inspired by the series because like because of the glitters inside of it, it kind of makes it like light in the dark or something I love it so but I, I'm extra so here's what I'm gonna put also inside of it I have an old fun so inside of it I have some well I have some white that I'm not gonna use because I'm gonna use that in another cocktail I really need to get something like other fun the rainbow one is amazing but it doesn't really have colors like this this one is the one that I used in my bath, uh, in my last bath cocktail, so it is the Père Noël Fun, and it was limited edition. So it does have a black fun, which I feel like it's gonna be perfect for bubbles, because it's gonna intensify the color of the bath. So I'm gonna use this simply for bubbles, because I do love a great bubble bath. And then I'm gonna use, this is golden, I know it doesn't look like it, but it's like a golden color, so I'm gonna try and like melt this in like some really hot water like boiling water and see if I can like do a drizzle on top of my bath so that's what I plan to do with this one and then because it's a really simple bath cocktail I just wanted to add something like also like sultry and I don't know like that made me think of that so I have a sample of Twilight which is a shower gel that you can only get for Christmas and this one smells divine I have like a little bit left so I'm just gonna drizzle it on top of the black fun and it's really dark it's a dark purple color so I feel like it's gonna match and it's also a little bit spicy it's basically lavender vanilla for the shower gel you could also use something like plumbering which is a really dark color the semi side bubble bar cut a little bit and like in pieces melt it and do the drizzle if you if you want to be extra like me because I'm really extra so yeah and now it's gonna be my my favorite part the cutting let's let's get into the cutting
here is our mix. I thought it would have been more like golden. Now it's more of a chocolatey, hot chocolate beverage. I kind of want to drink it. I'm not going to do it. But you can still like see the, the luster. It's really pretty. You fascinated me, cloaked in shadows and secrecy. The beauty of a broken angel. the soul it was waiting for when someone walks into your heart through an open